It's good. You need techniques. Yes, yes, you need tools, definitely. And it's one of the tools. And what I like about awareness or anthropology, but also about Kaizen, is that the realization that upset are not bad. They are just information. That's it. Actually, you have your intuition signaling you through upset saying, oh, 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 wait, look what's happening. You just need to pay attention. And that, that, is, that was an amazing epiphany for me. And why I said that also came from Kaizen is uh, Kaizen is about small steps bre uh, breaking down into the smallest bits. And um, my so go-to person about Kaizen, and I read his, his books, both books on Kaizen, it's Robert Maurer and his professor at UCLA. And he has one quote in one of the books that, that just was so amazing for me. So I paraphrase maybe a little bit. I don't remember word by word. But he says, if you notice that you resist a small step, it means the step is still mm -hmm. too big. That was wow. Um, I wrote and published a book called Five Minute Perseverance Game. But I noticed that I couldn't do some things in five minutes. And I realized, okay, maybe five minutes was were too long. So let's break it down. And I took a, like straight posture. And I took this for, for a month, just for 15 seconds. And it worked. I did it every single uh, day, even if I thought that I didn't want to, to practice uh, straight posture. And it's just amazing, th uh, this realization. So it's... If I resist something, it's not bad. It just means that something doesn't work and I just need to mm -hmm. look what yeah. doesn't break work. Break out, it. break that thing down more. Wow. Exactly. That's another point of awareness, a realization point. Whenever you reach friction, know that you're, you can break that signal down, divide it into an easier component. And a lot of times we get to that point and our subconscious will just change the scene, say do something else. So in those moments, that's when you need the awareness. Like in that moment, as soon as you reach that friction point, instead of changing your mind to something else, look at it and realize I can break this down and then I can keep going yes. through. Absolutely. Yes. Awareness is like a torch. It just illuminates what is happening. In and, your so, and so what you're saying is at a certain point, even five minutes of concentration can be too much. And so if you break it down into yeah. two minutes, one minute, or even... 15 seconds of concentration just to keep yourself in the game instead of tuning out into the unconscious river of life again. Yes, and it depends on the game. So sometimes uh, your game could be not necessarily at point in time and actually at time is always on my desk, always. <laughs> but just for example, I don't know, a paragraph of text. That's it. So you just give yourself a certain bit uh, of, of work that you do. And you say, for example, when I self-edit, sometimes I procrastinate. Mm -hmm. So I say, okay, I will do just one paragraph of text and give myself a point. And at some point, because this motivation comes, oh, I did that, actually it was easy. I will do another one. Oh, okay, I'll do another one. And then it happens like more than several pages, even if I didn't plan to do the pages. <laughs>